Hi guys, we're Tim and Sandy and little Pablo. We own a 2004 Mercedes Sprinter which we love traveling around in. But at the moment, we are rebuilding the interior and it's not without its struggles. I hate this job. <laughs> you are watching the sand van. Good morning guys welcome back to the channel so today it is raining as you can see but luckily we've got the awning and that makes all the difference that stops all our kitchen stuff getting very very wet so this week we're going to be doing cabinetry and doing some finishing touches and more and more painting so I've been a busy bee this afternoon I've uh, fitted the cupboard door How good is that? Finished the lid for the laundry. I've also finished the locking box for the laptop. And um, we're gonna start doing some other storage ideas as well. I was also gonna do this counter here behind it. Uh, there's a big storage space, uh, full height, and it's about a meter long. And it's gonna be really good for putting all our um, camp chairs, etc., and stuff in that. So I'm going to be fitting a lid here as well in the countertop which will flip up and it will look very nice. As you can see it's the next day. Things got away with me a bit yesterday. Um, I got well into building the cabinets and I had to go for a haircut and you know I'm looking a bit better. The van's looking a bit better. I'm working on storage solutions today so Come along and join us. Good morning, and now I'm here. <laughs> so, yeah, today storage solutions, as Tim said, um, really cool little flip up area he's gonna put at the back there. Um, so you just press it, pops open, and there's gonna be storage behind for things like chairs, and hopefully chairs fit in there. If not, we have lots of little flat items like our fire pit and things like that that we can slot in the back. So, yeah, it's all coming together now and we've picked a stain yesterday. We went to Bunnings and we picked a nice stain for the top of the counter. So I think once he cuts all the holes for the, um, the sink and the hob, which we found, um, that'll all look really nice as well. Let's get on with the day. What a canvas. <laughs> Going well under there then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the stain we're actually going for is I don't know if you can tell a difference here but this is one this is one coat of stain I think it's oak isn't it and this is a second coat so we're going to go for the second coat I think it brings out the grains in the wood really nicely more than this one I think this one just looks a little bit too raw still so what do you think guys looks good eh we might have to change the flooring though, because the flooring doesn't match. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, another trip to Bunnings, I'm sure there'll be plenty still. So this is what we have to do to keep Pablo in check. We have gates. <laughs> so these gates will hopefully fit in that storage area as well. So we can take you along and you won't attack anyone, hey? I should actually explain, he doesn't actually attack people. <laughs> he attacks other big dogs so he likes small dogs under 10 kilos but nothing larger than that um, he has been friends with dogs larger than that but it's taken a bit of time so yeah we need gates to keep him keep him in check so Tim was putting a uh, lagoon tables out the back there but we're gonna pause on that because the screws are long enough that we've got <laughs> they need to be super long um, so we have to have another bunnings trip guys another bunnings trip but the next uh, job is going to be cutting a hole in the bench top for the sink. Now that's exciting. So this is our new sink. We've got a black sink, which is um, pretty good. Well with our day for. The good thing about it is it comes with a template. Oh, it does. So um, it even comes out a template with taps as well, if you want. Oh, it's a way to put your taps. 
Yeah, so oh, that's that, cool. Give you space. That's a massive template. <laughs> Tell you this wonderful thing. Whoa, look at that! Oh my god, it's huge. It did look huge in the shop. It looks huge in here. It's a plastic resin one. It's not actually that heavy. Isn't it? Is it plastic? Oh, no. Well, it's like a... Yeah. Is that right? I don't know. That is probably... I'd say probably the limit there. What are you looking at under there? Inside here. Oh, yeah. So that'd probably be your limit there. What is it? You have to think about the taps though, so there. it's not enough room for the tap. Yeah, so we'll get the tap. Okay. So I think we're going to go with, um, I don't know, you wouldn't call it a landscape sort of configuration with the tap behind. I think that's the best way to do it, don't you think? I think it'll look the neatest. The neatest and we still it's get a symmetrical nice with the, the door handle and everything at the front, which I can't see. Tim, move your hand. So it's... Um, that door tap will be in line with the bird. Yes. That will look nice. Yeah, I think that'll work. So often I see this man look at instructions and she didn't last long. It's pretty simplistic. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I'm not missing anything important. Yeah, so have you done this before, have you? Many times. Have you? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's the house one. Yeah. They all leak. Um, they all leak. <laughs> no! Technical stuff going on here. We're working out the centre. <laughs> Are you happy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's our centre. Okay. Yeah. It lines up with Ow. our centre line. And then we want to work out how far away you want from the tap. Do you want it a bit further back, like so? I don't know what do normal things do. Oh, do they normally have them more at the front, don't they? So you can, but I don't know. So he's now going to take that counter out and cut the hole for the sink. And we'll have to do it again when we get the stove top. We haven't got it yet because there was something wrong with the connections at the back of them from the store that we're going to get it from. So we're getting it posted. It's going to be here in a couple of days. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous about this hole. <laughs> it's something you can't undo, so. Don't screw it up! <laughs> Let's see if this fits. Here we go, moment of the truth. It's either going to go in place perfectly or it's going to fall through on the floor and smash. <laughs> what are we going to do? Should we go? Awesome! Oh. Awesome! <laughs> Like a glove. Like a glove. Nice. Washing all the dishes, honey. Mm. With my penny. With your what? My penny. My apron. Oh, I don't know what that was. Like your what? <laughs> what? I've never heard of that before. <laughs> With my apron. Oh. So Tim has just got a call from his brother in England, and then we're going out for dinner. So we'll leave you there for today, and we'll pick it up again tomorrow. morning so as you can see we started staining our bench tops and it's such a beautiful color the wood we've chosen is actually got a bit of a pink tinge to it and we've chosen oak 
which is quite a it's quite a dark color to go over the top um, but it's just come out this really nice uh, reddish tone and it complements our seat covers perfectly so I'm very excited to see this completed that looks a treat that color it's coming up really rich color right eh? yeah really really like it Depends. I'm pleased with it from what it was so you guys if you could see this is what it was um, and it's very pale but it does have that pink tone and I'm just really impressed with that <laughs> nice Happy? Yes, the wood we're actually using is Tasmanian oak as a tribute to our Tasmanian trip. Yes. <laughs> See the link above. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless post. <laughs> we went to Tasmania, did you not know? So after we put our stain on our um, bench tops, we're now varnishing it. And I think we're going to put two coats of this varnish on. It's just, it comes up so nice, but it just, I think it needs two coats just to set it, set it off nicely. Yep. And uh, what do you think, honey? What's oh, I'm good? really pleased with it. It's like we left it. Um, so the, the actual tint itself only takes 30 minutes to dry. So we left it for a couple of hours just to make sure there's no reaction between the, the, the tint and the varnish as we apply it. This is a high gloss varnish and it's uh, made for like, uh, it, it's, it's more durable than your normal furniture varnish. So we can uh, put it through its paces with hot cups of tea, etc. Yeah, cool. Because we get through a few of them anyway. <laughs> Being English, yes, being there's many English. tea. In fact, there's one on the table, this there. That's a coffee. Oh, it's a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> we now have all the various bits of wood um, drying <laughs> until tomorrow because we can't actually do another coat until tomorrow. So I believe Tim is actually trying to get the carpet up. Let's have a look. Yeah. I hate this job. <laughs> <laughs> I think the carpet's stuck down with... Uh, what was it stuck down with? Wood glue or something, was it? No, it's waterproofing sealant. Oh, right. So that's real, it's real rubbery. It's like, oh, still right. super strong. <laughs> so that whole thing has been put down with that and you're trying to rip it up. <laughs> what a nightmare. It's literally just coated it and then put the carpet down and glued it down with that. Oh, uh, bugger. Well, have nice flooring soon but that's that's just that's this is just to level moment, it this is it? just to level a thing it's a what sorry this is just to level it like to level it to get it to the right level because that is so thick if yeah, we left yeah, that you underneath can't. you'd see it yeah oh well you did a great job thanks so tim has kindly told me that he's just been going to be painting this afternoon so there's not much point in us hanging around eh so we'll see you tomorrow Is that okay? Huh? Is this camera on? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to Van Build Central. This morning we are doing the second coat of varnish on our worktops. Um, it's come up really nice but the, you can still feel there's a little bit of roughness there so it suggests that you sand down in between coats. So just using a, a very uh, light grit paper we're just going to rub that down and then we're going to varnish it and leave it to dry for another 12 hours and then we can actually put it back into the van. <laughs> Everything takes so long. Yeah. All those little fiddly bits, isn't it? Yep. And also today, hopefully the cooktop's going to turn up so we can cut that and then we can get the kitchen unit stained. Um, and also we're going to drill holes for taps for water filter purification stuff that we've got. And um, what else? Many, many things I would imagine. <laughs> we'll so keep you updated. Join us as we go on this journey together. <laughs> For the varnish. One more coat to make it look super pretty. Many hours later. Yeah, take that long. <laughs> it takes about 12 hours, yeah? 12 hours to fully hold. 12 hours, okay. <laughs> Welcome back to the sand van, and we have here. Timothy Carden, who is our van builder. And how are you going today, Tim? What are you up to? I'm doing very well, son. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to have air of the lower. 
So yeah, Tom got away with this today and I forgot to film and I've been busy working and editing and all sorts of things. So yeah, Tim will fill you in what he did today because I know he's varnished all the top and how good does that look? Um, it's just come up really nice. He's also done... It smells amazing in here. <laughs> <laughs> he's also done some work in the back there. Um, you, you tell him about that. Cause well, I, right, so like I said, big day, varnishing. We did the final coat of the varnish and we put the worktops back in. So I'm really pleased with how they've come out and obviously you can see where how they've come out. Um, we've also varnished and put the, the top on the, the oh. lockable box there. That looks much better. That looks good, doesn't it? Um, I've panelled the, the, the back area over here in the corner. It's been unpaneled for ages. It's been driving me insane. Um, I've done the wiring. I've put the switches in. They're all fitted in. They look really good. Uh, just really, uh, all we've got to do now is paint and prep that. Um, water pumps turned up today the expansion tanks turned up today and we big water tanks on order at the moment ready to go underneath so we're going to start on the water and the electrics and the water pump tomorrow oh, cool. we were thing. hoping to have the stovetop um in today because we did we did send an order to ikea and it didn't show up i think we we're looking at the wrong order because we've ordered lots of things yes we are. we're expecting so it to turn up today but it's it, going to turn it up it should turn up in a couple of days time days. and that's when we're going to cut that i uh, haven't stained the actual kitchen worktop yet because i've finished chopping it about but this worktop is in the storage area at the back is all panelled and ready to go and uh, the laundry hamper lid is in as well so it's, oh the laundry it's, hamper it's turned up today really good it's a little big we have to do a bit of alteration but yes everything is alteration in here the day that we order anything for this vehicle and it fits perfectly. Who, let me know in the comments who has ordered stuff for their van and it's just fit perfectly and had no issues. I'd love to hear from you because we I don't think we've ever had one thing that's actually no, <laughs> cut the no. size. Everything's like, oh this'll be this'll fit and then you're like, oh no, we need two centimeters off here and a millimeter off that side. It's always <laughs> that one millimeter that cures me. Yes. But anyway, we will leave you there for this evening and we will come back to you tomorrow, I guess. Yes, with many, You're many watery stuff tomorrow? things. Yes, I'm doing many things tomorrow, but I'll be underneath the sink cupboard, so I'll see you there. <laughs> Good morning. It's a cold one this morning, very sunny, bright and fresh. Just popped the diesel heater on. So let's get this worktop off, get the drawers out, and we can start doing the plumbing. <laughs> we're gonna have to start looking at putting this hot water system in we've already got the hot water actual heater in place um because that needed to go in before we put the cabinets in um now we just got to run the pipe work and clean it up because it's covered in sawdust from all the work that we've been doing so let's get at it so what we're going to do is we're going to put a backboard in the back of the cupboard so that we can mount all our fixtures and fittings like our water pump, our expander tank, and our water filter system. Bye. Now the backboard's fitted, let's have a look at some of the stuff that we've got to put in and fit into this space. It's going to be quite snug. First of all, we've got the water filtration system. We've got two cartridges here. These unscrew, like so, so they can be easily swapped in and out. Uh, that goes up to our little tap. So what else we've done, we've got a, an upgraded Seaflow water pump. This is an 11.3 litres per minute pump. Uh, it's meant to be quieter than the pumps we originally had. These two little, you can see the size difference. These two little pumps only did eight litres per minute between them and were very noisy. So we're gonna go for the big bad boy. Coupled with that, we've got the expander tank. Now what this does, it keeps the pressure maintain so you don't get any pulsing when uh, you turn the tap on so you don't get it and it keeps the flow steady and it also reduces wear on the pump 
in line with that, we've got this little device, which is a Topper G water flow sensor. And this actually reg uh, records how much water you use from your water tank. So it's like, a, it's, it is a sort of water gauge, but it lets you know how much you've consumed. We're gonna have a water gauge on the actual tank itself as well so that we know we just quickly check but this will uh, help us keep an eye on if like if we're using too much in the shower etc like that and uh yeah we'll be able to monitor our water usage which is essential out on the road and uh that's about it for the moment because uh i've got some work to do and you can see the results in a minute when you're putting your fittings together especially the screw fittings make sure you use the plumber's mate stuff which is a ptfe tape wrapped around the thread and when you do it up nice and tight stops all the water leaks you can see that i put it on that thread there and uh, that just screws on like so nice and tight and watertight so after many hours much swearing and a bit of blood sweat and tears as well we have installed the water system um i've pre i've just temporarily attached a tap and uh, just to make sure we can pressurize the whole system and there's no leaks and i'm happy to say there is no leaks um it's doing uh, yeah it did leak to start with um and i just had to just change a little uh, attachment and she was good as gold we've installed the bigger water pump so much quieter i'm waiting for sandy to turn up and uh, she's excited to hear the new water pump because the old one was very very loud well good evening sorry i've been a little bit out of uh out of the loop i've been at work so let's just see what tim's done for today hopefully there's water running what do you think of all the hard work i've done today he keeps bashing his head on that um, bed. This is going to be a never ending thing with that <laughs> bed, but anyway. Um, yeah, it doesn't work for filming. <laughs> so, well, it looks all right, but I have no idea what anything does. Well, I'm here to explain. <laughs> Just point at things and I'll tell you what they do. This is a big round thing. That round thing is called a expansion tank. And what that does is it's got a, a bladder inside it that's uh, set at a certain pressure and it keeps the water at a set pressure so it stops the water pumping and if you turn the tap on now the pump won't activate because the water pressure this is just a temporary setup oh, there you go that. no sound folks. no sound so you can just rinse a cup or brush your teeth quickly and yeah. it's, it's not gonna be like we used to have with the old pump yeah um this pump actually runs a lot lot quieter so this pump is supposed to be quieter he tells me than the other pump we had in there and this is the sound of the other pump and uh this is the sound of this one oh that's much quieter isn't it plus you'll have the counter on top yep as well to muffle that even more so definitely it's, it's... the the reviews said that it was quiet but my if days... you have the expansion tank it makes it quieter yeah um, I mean, I'm, I'm temporarily holding uh, the power. Oh, oh the yeah, <laughs> we haven't got the power and that's sorted yet. So this is this is this is our temporary fix while we try and figure it out. But yeah, it looks looks pretty good oh, to me. I'm still trying to run because my temporary tank outside is empty. <laughs> it's right out of water. <laughs> the, temporary, yeah, like the temporary tank is just a bucket with a hose pipe in it. But you know, you've got to test these things. So that's us for this week, folks. I hope you enjoyed our build. I'm not sure what <laughs> it will to... end one day. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll be able to watch us out and about with enjoying our new build. <laughs> but yes, it just takes so long to do things, uh, a lot longer than I predicted. I think and you predicted six weeks. That wasn't going to happen. Six. If you had six weeks solid time and you had all and the, the materials. And the perfect materials, not just materials, the perfect cut materials, mate. Yeah. No way. We've been at this since January. And I'd like to thank Bunnings for sponsoring this. No, no. they didn't sponsor it, but I They'll spend sponsor. more time in Bunnings than I do in this van sometimes. And even today, I had to go and get a plumbing fitting that broke on me, and it was like, oh my. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, then. We will see you next week. Bye. Bye.